You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Gladiators ready! Contestants ready! Let's play! Joining us this week, is, as usual, it's Sorgatron. How's it going, Sorg? It's me! It's me! It's the Sorgi, right here in the studios, uh, uh, highly addicted to Angry Birds Space. I'm sorry, Star Wars. Angry Birds Star Wars, and ready to turn some knobs and make this show go. Cool. Chachi, how's it going? Chachi, I am it? doing well. Um, two things. One, Bobby, don't ever do that intro again. Why? Oh, it was fun. Sorg, don't ever do that intro again. <laughs> I have no regrets. No regrets. No <laughs> regrets. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Um, what have you guys played this week? Well, I, I, I pretty much disclosed it right in the intro there. Yeah, pretty much Star Trek. I'm sorry. Yeah. Angry Birds Star Wars, and that's about it. Um, yeah, that's it. Wow. Short week. Josh, well, what did you play this week? Unlike Red Shirt number two, hey. I've uh, <laughs> been playing GTA... Four lost and damned. Oh, um, and, uh, and losing I Twitter stole... followers over it. What's that? And losing Twitter followers over it. Oh yes. Um, I well, the funny thing is, I know which Twitter follower it was. <laughs> but aside from that, um, and it was hilarious that he's the one who unfollowed me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I've been doing this thing that Sorg didn't catch on to. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm putting incorrect actions on Twitter mm -hmm. um, of things that I'm doing in GTA. Mm -hmm. um, the first one was I uh, I follow all the traffic laws and I always pay the hookers. <laughs> um, and that's the one that lost me a follower. No. But um, and then I put another one up that says uh, I always negotiate with uh, other gangs to leave my territory and I always pay my fines mm -hmm. and then I put another one that said I paid my parking tickets yeah that was the one that I was like I wish you could do that in that game <laughs> yeah. upstanding um, grand, grand theft grand theft rental car <laughs> yes yeah. but uh, yeah I played that I played some uh, Pac-Man championship edition which is fun yeah it is it's tons of fun um, and Candy Crush and Marvel's Avengers Alliance. Um, but that's about it. Hmm. All right. I played Avengers Alliance, of course. Uh, Simpsons tapped out. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, uh, Clash, Clash in the Clouds, I finally got to play it. Um, that's a new expansion pack for, uh, Bioshock Infinite. Um, it, it's, it's basically just combat. It, it's, it's all right. Um, and I played Crackdown, which I didn't fall asleep this time, so yay. Well, that's good. <laughs> I collected orbs. That's what I did. Agility orbs. So Nice. Yeah. Well, there's right, like uh, 500 of the things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so if I, you're I, not playing the missions, you're, you're collecting agility orbs. <laughs> I think I'm like 25 orbs in. <laughs> so... All right, and I did play the challenge this week, which was American Gladiators, if you're familiar, well, familiar with our intro there, that Chachi doesn't want me to ever do again. <laughs> yes, um, I'll do that again. Did any, did any of you play it? I am playing it right now. All right. What do you think? What do you think of it right now? I, you know, actually, I did play this like uh, uh, more recently, like uh, sometime within the past year, because I'm like, I never played the NES version, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, any version, I guess. And I'm like, oh, I love this stuff, you know? Why? Why mm -hmm. not? I think I played this like when the new American Gladiators came out, and I was like, oh, let's check this out, right? Um, you see, we see. Uh, 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 looks like, whoa, what's happening here? Did I lose it? There he is. There's Nitro on the screen, ready to go. Um, so we'll get into this, and I'm playing some Joust. I think it's going to wait a little bit there. Hopefully we update. 
All right, it's not going to work too well there, but um, <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm playing some Joust. I don't think it's working too well, because I can only hit the arrow keys from this position, and he just knocked me off. There the we go. Joust, and, the... oh, I don't remember the Joust uh, uh, having the pedestals cross. being <laughs> yeah like that. Isn't there like one of these where you like kind of have to run across them like a platformer? Yeah, I in think one so. Of these games, like maybe it's the Super Nintendo version. It's like, did the people that make this game watch the show, or like, here's a picture of it, created from this using your imagination? We gotta um, make it more like Mario Brothers. <laughs> exactly, because <laughs> Mario Brothers was a hit, so our game should resemble Mario Brothers, but mm -hmm. with this licensed property. The the one really fun thing about the game, though, I I really enjoy these do, playing the assault mm -hmm. and the human cannonball. I think those two fun games. Although the Human Cannonball has a very, very tough factor to it. Does it? Like, you have to time it perfectly in order to hit the, the other gladiator off the thing. But uh, the wall is also very hard, too, because it's like the silver surfer of American Gladiator events. You can't touch the sides or you'll oh, tumble off I'm the not, wall. I'm gonna knock Nitro off this thing. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him a button mashing at this yeah. point. I think I found the right buttons. There he goes! There he goes! It's going to delay here, but then... Whoop, 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 whoop! There he goes! All right. Um, Sorry, from, audio from, listeners. From the chat, um, Brother Sorg played LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga. Um, he got through the first trilogy, and he also attempted some Mortal Kombat uh, from 2011, and played a little bit of Saints Row the Third. So, which is a good segue into our first thing you should be made aware of. Saints Row 4 is coming out. Ooh. And there's an addition that um, costs $1 million. It's um, pretty much like worth the million dollars if you have an um, extra million dollars laying around. Um, things included oh, yeah. in this bundle. Things included <laughs> in this bundle, you get a Lamborghini. <laughs> you get a... Uh, a couple trips to various locations. I think Dubai was one of them. A couple other places. Um, you get plastic surgery. <laughs> and let's not forget the Commander Chief version of the game. <laughs> In case you were, weren't aware you were buying a video game. So is this for real? Like yes, this, this it's is a real, real thing they're offering? Like Somebody could buy this if they really... Somebody could, could. buy it for a million dollars, and there's only one version of it that they can buy. Wow. Well, it, it's not the first time that this has been done recently, honestly. Okay. Oh, really? Um, hold on, let me bring it up, because I have it bookmarked. It wasn't a million dollars. It was something a little bit less than that. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a million. The, uh, the super expensive special edition for Grid 2. Oh, oh, uh, you're talking the other one. Okay. Yeah, um, you get a, a mono edition of Grid 2, the game. And it comes with... Um, oh, where's the car name at? Yeah, they're, they're, you get a car with it, essentially. It's like a super fast... Stupid, ridiculous car. Oh, wow. It's like a, it's an F1. I got a shot uh, for it up on the video. <laughs> That's, wow. It's like a go kart, but faster. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Well, but, uh, it's 125 pounds or 125,000 pounds. Oh, that's um, not bad. Yeah, it's an actual racing car that it comes with. Um, mm -hmm. Grid 2 for PS3, a day at the, uh, the car factory. Um, the racing helmet, the racing suit, and a PSC, PS3. Yes. Um, However so. chachi. What's that? However chachi. On top of the Lamborghini Gallardo, I probably mispronounced that, you also get a Toyota Prius. Wait, <laughs> Plus on one year of insurance. On Saints, huh? on Saints Row? Yeah, Saints Row, uh, the, the super dangerous Wad Wad edition comes with a uh, Toyota Prius. Okay, here's all the stuff that's in, in the thing. A Virgin Galactic space flight. What the shit? <laughs> that you can't even get yet. A full-size replica dubstep gun. Hey, that reservation's worth a lot. A hostage rescue experience. What? Plas plastic surgery. <laughs> Spy training day, a personal shopper, 
a capsule wardrobe, seven nights at the top royal suite in Dubai, a week for two at the Jefferson Hotel in Washington, D.C., first class flights to Washington and Dubai, the Lamborghini, the Prius plus one year's one year of insurance, and a year supercar membership. I don't know what that is, but sounds awesome for a million dollars. <laughs> Let's start a Kickstarter, guys. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, all right, and well, um, yeah, they give you the oh, Prius yeah. so you have something to drive around in because you're not yeah, driving yeah. around in a Lamborghini. Exactly, mm-hmm. but like that super car, supercar club. Do they send you a supercar? Is it like the Jelly of the Month Club? Where they send you a different supercar every every month. That would be amazing. <laughs> it's like loot crate for vehicles. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to our next thing, um, guys. There is a service. It's only in California right now, but they will let you rent an arcade cabinet for seventy five dollars a month, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, it's uh, it's seventy five dollars a month. Mm-hmm. And seventy five dollars uh, deposit. Um, I I am angry yeah. um, because this is not a, an available service in Pittsburgh. Apparently, there's one available in in, in New York because I know uh, uh, my, my Mike was saying last night in the hangout that he saw availability in his neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So well, I, what you do, what you can do is you can go on the website and put in your zip code. Mm-hmm. And it'll give you a list of games that are available. Yeah, and this is like this isn't like a cabinet where you get like access to the games. They actually somebody shows up and delivers a cabinet, right? Yeah. Like, yes, like it, I will have a Pac Man cabinet this week because I feel like it. Um, no, this month. This um, month. It, it's a month at a time that you get. Wow. The 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 uh, the cabinet. Arcade fly, and then this is the yeah. one where is this the one where they were looking up like Craigslist and stuff and looking for old cabinets to to fix up? Yeah, I, I believe so. Uh, that's really cool. It, it's a cool idea. Uh, it's definitely something for you know some money bags out there that are really into this kind of thing. But you got to think, man. Man, if you're the kind of person that is able to do the like man cave kind of situation, mm-hmm. or or the web web edition, the the what what <laughs> the web web edition of Saints Row, <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're a web web edition. <laughs> <laughs> person i mean this is like pocket change for you right i mean they're, yep. they're serving a certain demographic here that we are not in financially uh but but you know if you could you would mm-hmm. right I you would. know i i would do it in a heartbeat in, in my current financial state because i mean you're looking at it you're you're paying 75 dollars mm-hmm. to have an arcade be- cabinet in your house for a month yeah. It would depend. It would depend on what arcade cabinets they're offering too, though. Mm. It looks like it's a good mix from from the little bit I saw. Uh, there's mm. a pole position in the back of the truck I just showed, um, it, and it's called All You Can Arcade. Did we even say what the what the group was yet? Um, All You Can Arcade dot com, uh, and you can find information over there. The uh, <laughs> just so you're you're aware. The website was getting so much traffic the other day that it took me 15 minutes to load it. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. So That's good for them, though. So there's demand. Oh. There's definitely demand, you know, and more probably a lot of, like, when's this coming to my hood kind of situation. Right. You know, there's a lot of pinball nuts out there yeah. in Pittsburgh. I'm wondering if something like this couldn't uh, crop up. Mm-hmm. So It also made the, the front page of Yahoo, too, yesterday. Mm-hmm. I saw it on there. Or the other day. I don't think it was yesterday, but whenever. Um, our, our, our final thing that you should be made aware of, our friend Alex, Alex Cars in the chat room, uh, made a t-shirt. Uh, he also joined our Insert Coin to Begin uh, Extra Life team. Um, and the, the proceeds from the t-shirt, $10 go to our team for Insert Coin to Begin. Uh, so check that out. It is a Pac-Man t-shirt, inspired t-shirt. Um, I think it what does it say, Sorg? Do you have it? Hold on, I'm bringing it up right now. Actually, okay. it says uh, "Peace out, son. I'm ghost." Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's a, a, uh, the blue ghost. So, if you want an awesome shirt for a good cause, go to uh, Alex's web link here. Mm-hmm. It is teespring.com/slash peace out, son. I'm ghost. Um, but the thing is about this T-shirt is there. You have we have to get fifty orders. Okay. 
Um, okay. If there's not 50 orders, the shirt will not be printed. So it's like a Kickstarter oh, for a shirt kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there has to be a set number of orders or the shirt will not get made. Okay. okay. Well, I... Well, they all pay for Oh, well, well, I'm going to get my order here. I still so get kids. at least two of them out of this. So so definitely, you guys, get get out there. I'll, I'll start getting this shared out here over the mm -hmm. next few weeks. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get it uh, going. Yep. So. Buy that shirt. Buy the shirt! Help All right. the cause. Help the cause. And this for Extra Life that you guys are doing here uh, at the beginning of November, which uh, benefits again... Uh, Children's Hospital and something else. Okay. Yeah, um, Children's Hospital. Networks. It's for the kids. Do it for the kids. For the kids. Do it for the kids. Do it for the Go kids. Go to children, Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> that is from Rat Race. All right. Um, all right. Moving on to our news segment. Um, uh, WWE 2K14 will have the roster to end all rosters. Will it? Yes. Um, they just. Announced, I don't believe you. They just announced. Um, Wrestle or thirty years of WrestleMania mode, mm -hmm. which will feature um, over forty matches from the past WrestleManias over the last thirty years, um, and along with that, all of those superstars that are in those matches will probably be on the roster for the the entire game. Um, they've um, announced three matches so far. Um, one is um, Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant from WrestleMania three. Uh, the Rock versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania uh, X8 or 18, if you're into Roman numerals, um, and John Cena versus The Rock in um, from WrestleMania 29, no 28 or 29. I think they were both. <laughs> um, but I, I I hope that they get a lot more like of the classic superstars on instead of just like The Rock and John Cena on, in those matches. You know, well, you gotta think, and, and this is like completely the wrestling angle of this. They have legends deals with how many people mm. out there anymore? Um, yeah. What What does it take to just say, hey, let's just add add these people in there? You know, mm -hmm. um, well, I, I mean, they're they're recycling the same engine and everything from the year yeah. before. Do they really need to recreate everybody? No, that that's the coming back over. Pretty much the same. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, but no, it, it sounds like an interesting. That it, it, it's got me a little bit interested in the game. Yeah, that's, and that's I've been what I was like, thinking. I don't see any reason to not still play my WWE 12. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, my whole thing is uh, if they oh, we lost them. Cut out. What? Yeah, we lost you for a second. You're back. Oh, okay. Uh, my whole thing is if they are using this to replace story mode again. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, if they are, then I'm not in. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not at yeah. all. Um, because, I mean, it was the same way with the uh, the raw moments or mm -hmm. whatever. Or the, um, yeah, the attitude error. Yeah, I, no, exactly not. So. Hmm. Well, Ukes gets a little lazy with story mode, but that's Ukes. <laughs> so. Um, but yeah. I want to see. I, I want to see them since they're adding the Ultimate Warrior, anyways. I want to see Warrior versus Hogan. Yeah, or that was, or was that a that, that was a WrestleMania? Yeah, match, that was a, right? a big WrestleMania moment. Yeah. I, I think, I, and I wonder. Like more, I think about this. I wonder if we're not going to see much of an increase, but we're going to see mm -hmm. more. Hey, we know Hogan's in here. We're just going to see a bunch of Hogan matches. We're going to see a bunch of matches where people are still around. How many matches mm -hmm. were Triple H involved with? Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of just convenient stuff. Secret, secret know? unlockable Mr. T? Oh, I could only hope. I, I can't imagine <laughs> they have a Legends deal with him. I really can't. What's the last time Mr. T did something? He had a reality show not too long ago, right? Yeah, he made Flavor Wave microwaves. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah. And he's on some Garmin GPSs, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Chachi, I think you have the next story that Nintendo is finally suing somebody. Uh, N Nintendo is now going after bootleggers. Um, yeah. A little too late. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, like um, uh, well, what they're doing is uh, there's a particular website. Um, there, there's a few websites that sell um, what are known as R4 chips. Um, and yeah. essentially what it is is it's a, uh, a program hack 
that allows you to play ROMs on DS and 3DS. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is the chip itself in the United States is not illegal. Mm -hmm. um, it's completely legal, um, no questions asked, because people use it for uh, homebrew games, mm -hmm. um, which is also legal. But uh, the website crossed the line because they were selling preloaded R4 Ooh. chips. Yeah, that's bad. Um, so you were paying like $200 and getting um, 16 gigs or 32 gigs worth of DS games. Wow. Um, which is where Nintendo has a problem. So, um, it, but what they don't know, or maybe they did know and just didn't care at the time, um, this has been going on for years. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, uh, six months after uh, the 3DS was released, the, the R4 chip was available. Mm -hmm. I, I remember one. I remember almost buying a, um, a Game Boy Advance cartridge like that back in the day. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it, same exact thing. Um, it, it's just, well, I mean, it's illegal. Mm -hmm. and copyright infringement and whatnot, but yeah, and so they're finally um, taking people to court for it. Uh, why they didn't do it sooner, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't connect the dots between their lack of sales and the uh, <laughs> the R4 chip. But, yeah, it, as of right now, um, the website doesn't have to do anything because, I mean, they're going to court. Mm -hmm. But um, even, even at the end... Um, they're still going to be allowed to sell the R4 chips because they're not legal or they're not illegal. Yeah. It's what you deal with them, right? So, mm -hmm. right. Yep. So, all right. Um, our final news story this week, um, the Xbox one, the Xbox one backtrack again, they, 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 they decided not to, uh, include the connect for some systems, right? Well, no, 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 no. It's not that well, they're not including it. it well, it's uh, optional now, right? No, it's not optional. Oh. Um, you're, you're still buying the Kinect. Uh, oh, the thing, but you're not required to use it. Yeah, the only thing that's optional is the fact that the Kinect is always on. Um, I and I, I would just like to point out at this time that gamers need to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I, they threw a fit because they didn't like what Microsoft originally had to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft is uh, taking back everything they said. They're, they're undoing it. Everything mm -hmm. that the gamers didn't like, they're undoing. They're responding to the audience. Right. And you know what the gamers are still doing? Whining. They're still bitching about it. Would you like cheese oh, with that well. You got what you wanted? Yeah. Shut up. Hmm. I, I mean, if anything, uh, you should be reconsidering which system you're going to buy now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, if, if Microsoft came out at E3 with a bunch of stuff that you didn't want to see on the Xbox, mm -hmm. um, the DRM stuff mainly, and they said, oh, well, we're going to undo it, then maybe you should just uh, go back to the the chalkboard and see which one you want. I gotta say, this it doesn't really. I don't really care, you know. Uh, I, I, if I had five hundred dollars burn a hole in my pocket, I would pick the Xbox over the PlayStation, just mm -hmm. because that's where I'm at. You know, that's what I'm used to. I like what they're doing with Microsoft's uh, uh, games and, and products right now. I like the services. I'm bought into the services. You know, we, talk, we talked in the past about you know the idea that you know you're kind of sold on it because you have. You know, how much have you invested in Xbox service? Or I don't want to have to find new friends. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, t Bobby spent so much time finding these friends, it's going to be so hard to start over again. And yeah. this is the first generation where we've had this swap over, right? Because yeah. well, there weren't too many of us on the Xbox, the first Xbox. I can't say the Xbox One anymore. Thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> Uh, but no, I think everybody's, I don't know. I, 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 Microsoft had to say, do some pretty uh -huh. crappy things 
to uh, for the general populace to not convert from the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Well, and on top of it, Microsoft isn't only undoing everything they said, mm -hmm. uh, but they're continuing to beat PlayStation at certain things. Okay. Um, uh, Microsoft did an unboxing yeah. video last week. <laughs> yep, here it is. Yeah, uh, they, they pulled it straight out of the box, everything that you, you wanted. I revealed um, some cool things like the headset. Yeah. Um, people were complaining about the fact that it didn't come with a headset. Bam, you have a headset now. What's up? And confirming it, it's not just the day one edition that they're doing with this, which is pretty right. cool. Um, on top of that, the system isn't even released yet. Mm -hmm. And they already bumped up the graphics on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, they, they bumped up the CPU megahertz, I believe, The right? GPU. The GPU. No, they, they bumped up the graphics processor. Yeah. So. Um, which they could have done uh, with an update later on to please the developers, but yeah. instead they did it right now. Which I think even, like, the recent Xbox 360 had a little bit of a bump, right? Yeah. Like, I think, like, that edition you have, that's that new sleek model, like, they bumped it up a little bit. But that's probably the process, all the rest of the stuff going on. There's, there's not thing programmed specifically for it, uh, you know. Um, right. You know, you gotta think stuff coming around the gate isn't gonna really take advantage of that. So uh, um, It already is being taken advantage of. It is. It's, it's enough in advance that they can. Yeah, they, have, they did it because the, uh, the developers wanted them to. Mm -hmm. So instead of uh, ignoring what the developers had to say, and in in return making gamers happy, so, they uh, so it, went ahead and did it. It really sounds like uh, Microsoft said, "Ah, oh, the gamers don't like this idea we had. That's okay. Ah, we'll change that. Ah, uh, the developers right. are mad because of this thing. Ah, we'll we'll work on that. Uh, you know, it, it seems like this is the most agreeable Microsoft we've had in a while. I know uh, some people are calling them flip floppers on on what they're doing with this, but I think they're settling into what they thought the market was and actually seeing a market response. Um, yes. You gotta say, Microsoft has never been in this position before. So this is our first chance we have to see them react to people that like them in the video game space in this mass appeal uh, in between generations. So, I mean, when they said, hey, we're going to stop making Xbox games today to start working on Xbox 360, there wasn't a lot of people to get angry about it because not a lot of people yeah. bought that first Xbox. I mean, a lot, but not enough for this big of an issue. So, I, I it's just kind of interesting to see how they respond. Um, yeah, definitely. So, Bobby, what, what do you think of the Xbox flippancy? Bobby is not there. That's me. So, Bobby, but, um, are you back? Bobby, are you back? Hello, Bobby. Bobby is confused. Chachi, take it from here. I was not prepared for this. Um, also, I, another thing that uh, Xbox announced is the fact that the Xbox One is designed to stay on for 10 years. What? What do you mean, on for 10 years? <laughs> Hypothetically, <laughs> the hardware, mm -hmm. um, uh, the box itself, can be on for 10 years. It's made for that. Powered on, running something. Hmm. Uh, what do you think, Bob? Are you with us? I, I couldn't hear for a while there. Um, what, what, are you, what are we talking about right now? We're still talking about the Xbox One. We're still in the boss <laughs> okay. battle. Uh, well, we, uh, Chachi yeah. just revealed the fact that the Xbox One is, is designed to, to be on, power stated for 10 years. Oh, wow. 10 yes. years? 10 years. I I, I like that if, if it's possible. Well, they're positioning the this thing. Go off. They're positioning this thing to be always on, so why not, right? Yeah, and the, and the console life will probably last for that ten years too. Yeah, yeah, at this rate. Well, uh, the reason it, it's or the the way they got away with it or how they did it was um, once again uh, something that everyone's bitching about. But um, the size of the console, if you haven't noticed, is huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a big console. Um, but what they did is they designed it that way because of the red ring of death from the 360. Okay. Uh, the, the casing and the spacing of everything inside is to maximize airflow and to keep the console as cold as possible. 
So because of that, the electronics in the device are already pr already built to stay efficient and work for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at that point, all you had to do was find a way to keep it cool and not overheat. Yeah, well, that's why there's that meme going around where it says, with the Xbox One, you get a mini Xbox One for free, and it was the battery pack, or the power pack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but really, I mean, a lot of these things, I mean, how how long, you know, in businesses, your computer's basically on all the time. I mean, yeah, yeah. And, and does it really last for 10 years? Let's see how many start uh, start coughing up dust in, uh, like, six. You know, right. you'll be way out of your warranty. That, how do you think they sold a, a gajillion Xboxes? How many of us re-bought them with the Red Wing of Death, right? Mm -hmm. So, I didn't. Well, you, because you bought a post-Red Wing. Right. Lucky bastard. I think I've had to send mine back twice. I had one die. Yeah. So. Hey, it's not my fault that you got defective products. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I don't think it... Oh, I don't know hey, what we're hey, arguing about. you know what? I'm, what are Next we arguing time? about? Next time, just wait until they're done with it. Just wait until they're done with it? Yeah. I got. Oh, I got the prototype. I see what it is. My Elite Edition Xbox Did you have was the freaking edition? prototype. Did you have a day one edition sword? I didn't have a day one. I, like I was like three <laughs> years in. I got the Wii yeah. before I got an Xbox. Same thing I'm here. Sorry. I'm sorry. So am I. I can't I think remember I was the last thing in. I turned that thing on. Um, I think I was a year in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I did uh, I did decide that I will buy a Wii U before I buy an Xbox One. <laughs> really? Just for price? Yeah. That's yeah, exactly it. Isn't it? Price? Isn't it like the perfect? I mean, it's a whole different discussion, but isn't it the perfect go between? Because there's going to be a point where that thing's powerful enough that you'll have games on there that are not on the Xbox 360, but maybe games that are on the Xbox One. So it could be that middleman, right? While you wait for that price of the Xbox One to come down. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'll play it for a little bit. I, I just want to, um, I want to see how it goes. Yeah. Um, and, and the thing, and what it will be is I'll buy it because they'll release a Zelda game for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, it's, it's inevitable. I'll it's just inevitable. sell it. it. It really, it's inevitable. I mean, that's why we brought the Wii, but they have the Zelda right out the gates. So I'm like, I'm in, let's do this. Right. Um, and so, we don't mean HD Wind Waker. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's not exciting enough for me to go stand in line and get a Wii U. Although I don't think there's many lines for them. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> easier uh but uh no no when that 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 one like we're gonna change mario and we're gonna do this and and we brought back i don't know we decided to bring back the coolest excite bike rendition ever then i'm in right yeah, uh right. so or ice excite climbers. truck yeah, excite that truck was, oh my god that was on we <laughs> oh my god or or the next yeah. star flux that's gonna blow my mind yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that, yeah, I'm not saying I'm never going to, I'm just saying I don't see a reason yet, and you should have a reason a year into your console. Holy crap. Yeah. So, so, all right. All right, on that note, uh, I think that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter on at InsertCoinTB. Mm -hmm. uh, you can visit the website at www.insertcointobegin.com or just InsertCoinToBegin.com if you're from the present <laughs> instead of 1997. When the internet was first around, like I am for saying WWW. <laughs> um, what the hell? But yeah, that 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 will do it for us. Oh, wait, 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 what are we playing? What are we playing? What oh, are we playing? Oh, 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 the challenge for this week was the second place game in our pool that we had, which is Blues Brothers for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Screw that! I'm playing Nickelodeon Guts. Nick, there's a Nickelodeon Guts game. Sure, yeah, there Super is. Super Nintendo. What? Yeah. Maybe that should be our challenge. Both games are our challenge this week. No! You have a choice. <laughs> you have a choice. Either Blues Brothers for Nintendo or Glo or Gu Global Guts, is it? Or just Guts? Nickelodeon Guts. And does it come with more more a Clark? Double a challenge. Does it come with more Clark? I don't remember. I don't does it come remember. with Mo? Oh, wow. You don't know Mo? Oh, game over, man. She was the no, best I don't, part of I don't Guts. remember if it comes with her or not. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for us. Game over. <laughs>